And that leaves this card as broken as my office chair. <laughs> Got a little HP pavilion here. Apparently it doesn't work. We're gonna find out why or something. I don't know, look how cute this thing is. Super cute, super cute. Toss it in the air. I like how, I like the form factor. Oh. There we go. That's what's inside it. Uh, apparently it's a 1660 Super and a Core i5. Uh, apparently it's beeping when you turn it on and the guy bought it on Kijiji and it barely worked when he got it and now it just beeps and it was uh, dying at any graphical workload. I assume the graphics card's messed or the power supply's messed. I don't know. See if I can fix it. Uh, he bought it from someone on Kijiji that said it was working right and he, there's no warranty. There's no taking it back to Best Buy at this point. What a baby little computer. All right, contact. Where's the power button? Right there. Contact. We'll see what happens. Just a long one. Boop. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's put a flipping security screw there. I love that. I mean, hex is big enough anyways. All right. She's got onboard graphics. Whatever, cute. Let's see. This isn't a computer you can even replace the power supply in. That, that sucks. It's a 12 volt only system. So I can't even replace that to test that. I suppose I could put another video card in it. Maybe, maybe it's not on by like the, the in, onboard graphics doesn't work. I don't know, I'll try it. No beep, but still no signal. Video card number three. All right, so I don't know what, uh, why, but with uh, my GT 1030 in it, not the 610, which, I mean, my, I don't know, I could try this on another computer, but uh, it's, it wasn't working, now it's working. Windows is booted, but it won't boot from, it's like it's set not ever to use the onboard graphics, which is weird to me. I plugged an HDMI to that and it was still beeping, unless something else I've done so far has, you know, has fixed this. I don't know. So I guess a few moments later. Does it work in my Dell? <laughs> really have a dead 1650? Why ain't it beeping or nothing? A few moments later. All right. Testing the graphics card with a properly dressed motherboard with RAM and a beeper and a power supply. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. I see what's broken on the video card. He apparently was having problems with this computer blue screening or crashing or maybe artifacting when uh, it was going into a gaming workload or I, I don't know exactly, but the guy that sold him the computer said to him, dude, you, uh, you should replace the thermal paste on it. Like there's no way a 1650 Super, even with crappy thermal paste, even, even if it was 10 years old, would break. So I know what's wrong with this. The guy doesn't know what he's doing. He took it apart and uh, there is a uh, a little IC, I'm gonna say it's an IC. It's not even a resistor, it's a complicated IC that has been, yep, it's been removed from the board there. Something that would require some pretty complicated soldering to fix. 
With that being knocked off there, um, I really doubt I'm gonna get this card to work, but I'm gonna try. You'll see that this IC not, was not just knocked off its solder pads, it was literally broken. Okay, it's been a couple days. Um, I'm trying to fix this thing. I don't even know what I filmed or how much I explained. The, the long and short of it is, the card's broken and it's never coming back, unfortunately, because someone took it apart and broke a very tiny IC, integrated circuit chip, off of the board, like the size of a, a grain of sand. And that leaves this card as broken as my office chair. <laughs> It's not supposed to do that. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, so long story short, the problem with the computer originally was it would play games for a half hour and shut off, or blue screen, I'm not sure. Uh, and then this guy, he had bought it from someone, probably because it was doing that. Might have been a software issue, for God's sakes. Maybe it was a hardware issue. Maybe this thing was screwed from the beginning, but it wasn't screwed like this until uh, the guy who owns this PC brought it to another local guy that has ads on Kijiji or Facebook or whatever to have a look at it. And apparently the guy took the card apart, which makes no sense because if he did, he should have replaced the thermal paste. And if he, apparently he even watched him do it. So the guy at this, that has this computer is blaming the little broken IC that's made this thing completely broken on this this other guy, which I don't even know, I didn't recognize the name anyways. So then apparently he got it back and replaced the thermal paste on it after it was like totally broken because he's blaming this other guy for breaking it, which makes no sense. Why would thermal paste make the computer not turn on and beep at startup? So long and skinny of it is there was an issue I could have maybe fixed with this graphics card. Let's say it was even a heat issue or it was some problem with the chip. Maybe I could have fixed it, but because someone took it apart that didn't know what they were doing, be very careful out there, guys. Some random guy on Facebook market group or something like that, taking your computers apart, make sure that he's got references or like, you know someone that's been to him before or you know, apparently the guy was even watching what he was doing, I don't know. But if he actually broke an IC on the board, probably drop in the little heat sink or something like that, that's, that sucks. So what did I try to do? Well, this IC that's broken off of the board, uh, just underneath the GPU, the actual GPU, uh, is the size of a grain of sand. And I tried very hard to solder one from, remember this guy, this is like an R7 something, R7240, and I bricked it by putting a BIOS on it that didn't work, so I just snapped it in half. Well, this had one of those little ICs on it, at least one that looked the same and had the same three prongs on one side and two on the other. Very hard to see. I was using my phone as like an, a magnifying glass. Uh, but uh, no matter how many times I soldered that little guy on there, I, I couldn't get all the contacts to make contact. And I think it's mostly because one of the solder pads that's actually on the PCB has been lifted off enough that it's not working anymore. I, it looks like it's all together there if you see from there or whatever. Um, Obviously, it's it's not because it never boots. I, I tr I've tried to solder a, a new chip on there. I actually found a couple of them on a few different video cards. I tried to do it a couple of times. The original one was still hanging on, but it was literally shattered. Like the heat sink hit it so hard that it broke like the little plastic bit of the IC on the bottom of it, and some of the like so uh, the little pads that would solder on there, as far as I could tell, were broken right off, and they were on the board. So that's just unfortunate. So I don't know, I tried my best. And the reason why I'm doing the video and talking so much at the end here is uh, I like to make money on YouTube and I put so much time into this that I'm gonna make a video about it. But I think there's a conclusion here. It doesn't matter anymore. Uh, I'm gonna give him this card. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it, I think it fits in here. I wonder what kind of performance you'd get with this damn thing. Yeah, it, it would fit in there, I'm not, I'm not kidding. 
Uh, I went through my bucket of video cards and I found this is probably the best one with an HDMI output on it. It is an HD 8570 2GB. Future TJ here. This is the 80, I think it said 8570. I don't know if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But uh, the only game I found on this computer seems to run beautifully. <laughs> because you know what's hilarious? HDMI output there. Guess what kind of processor it is? It's a Core i5 9400F. <laughs> so there's lots of lessons to be had on this little computer here. Number one, be careful who you're buying from on local selling sites. Apparently the guy sold this broken. Maybe it was fixable. Apparently he bought it for 250 or 550, which would have been a steal of a deal. This computer was 550 all day long without the video card in it. And I was thinking of asking the guy if I could buy it. Uh, but then again, these little HP, is this an Omen? No, what, what is this? HP Pavilion um, are crappy and they're not very good little PCs to buy for another reason because that's a 12 volt only power supply that supplies 12 volts to the motherboard that then branches stuff, actually, yeah, branches stuff off for, yeah, for, for SATA, but the uh, actual video card connection comes straight off the, the, the board. But the, yeah, this doesn't have five volts on it. So you can't replace it with a normal power supply. It hooks up onto the motherboard with a couple of four pin connectors, that's it. So like, ultimately you can't upgrade this computer without upgrading the motherboard too, and a case. So it's a pretty crappy computer for that for that kind of stuff. So I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and Put it all back together, give it back to the guy. Uh, and unfortunately, sometimes that's just what happens in these, these times. You buy something, it's broken, you get it fixed by someone who breaks it further, and then it ends up in my hands where I can't even make a good video out of it because someone dropped the heatsink on a grain of sand. Like not even a grain of, like a grain of sand. A little icy, and, all, and that, that's all it took to make this thing never boot again. Be very careful with your hardware, folks. I'm Timmy Joe. Keep it sleazy. Oh man. That's a lot of saw sawdust for this. <laughs> gotta be my uh, fifth chair since I started YouTube.